oscillating or cyclic universe model. It took ancient astronomers hundreds of years to discard the flat earth theory and accept a three-dimensional model. To support their theory, they had to invent turtles and elephants which carried the flat earth on their backs. Likewise, today's astronomers have a problem discarding the flat model and accept the multi-level model of the universe. To prove the flat one-level model of the universe, they keep inventing bouncing models, negative gravity, and mysterious repulsive forces. We don't need to invent any special forces, new physics, no anti-gravity to accept a multi-level model of the universe. The matter which is falling into black holes doesn't just disappear, it goes to another level of the universe. Matter falling into a lower level of the universe makes it grow and expand. Each new level of the universe begins as a black hole. What is observed as the creation of a black hole and of an event horizon from the outside is observed as a big bang on the inside. The more matter falls into the black hole, in other words into the lower level of the universe, the more it grows and expands. Also our level of the universe has begun as a black hole in the higher level. The creation of that black hole and of the even horizon was observed as a big bang from our side. As long as more matter keeps falling into our level of the universe from the above level than is escaping from our level into black holes within, it will keep on expanding. When more matter space energy starts escaping from our level into lower levels, in other words into black holes, it will start shrinking until it disappears into black holes within. All the black holes are new, young levels of the universe, each one beginning with its own big bang, each one first expanding, then shrinking, and finally falling and disappearing into lower levels. No cycling, rebounding, no oscillating universes, but one multi-level universe. No need to invent new physics, anti-gravity, nor anything else. Please visit the website.